In this episode, the Rangers play Baltimore, and while my guy's getting a lot of praise, he also has a mission. 40 stolen bases. Can he do it? What is up, guys? It's AJ Markle here. Welcome back to MLB The Show number 47. Road to the show. There's my guy in the dugout. He got a little congratulated. Hit, 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 check by, fist by uh, Kevin Millwood. And as of right now, um, we are two games under 500. This is in August. I played around a little bit, so that way we could kind of get to speed things up a little bit. Because I kind of want, I want to keep going to all the LB Show games on PlayStation 3 until we get to LB Show 16, which that's going to be a while. But anyway, guys, right now my guy is still is in the majors, and he's oh my goodness, we got to hurry. It's gonna be out and out. We're playing Baltimore, and this was called Oreo Park. And right now, right now the Rangers are trying to get a playoff spot. We're in third place, and my guy is the starting center fielder. After injuries to other players, we had one side was David Murphy who was hurt. Then, then I got set out, and then next thing you know, we had. Ian Kinsler get hurt, and he's probably going to be out for another month until like, till September, and in the timeline. So I got a starting role because of there's a lack of guys that are playing. Right, ground ball. It's the third baseman to throw. Oh, I I think they're gonna call. Are they gonna call it a hit or an error? Because that was a high throw. But that's, I think they're gonna call it. It called it an error. Dang it. And I got to get ready to steal because anything that's do the coach telling me to go, I'm going to go. All right. All right. Got to go. Got three. goes pitch and throw a little low one. Safe. Another stolen base. My guy's been tearing up on the base paths. He's almost reaching 40 stolen bases. So he's already busting. Just, I just hope that our guy, think, who's, who's that? I think is. I think it's a Dar Darwin, I think. Let's just hope he get a chance to get to me and the rest of the team a rally. We're we winning 2-1 to one right now, but it's Texas. We've blown leads pretty bad. Believe me, I know. That was... And my guy's been tearing up on the ball, too. Off recorded, he's been hit. He has a total of eight home runs. Eight. I, which, is, which ties... This time a triple A record where he had eight and then he had 32 when he was in double A. So, so definitely a massive improvement. Let me massive improvement on that. That's in the left field. That ball is back. That ball is off. That ball, he's caught the wall. So I got to so I tag up the third. I think he got robbed of a home run. See the replay. He, he was right there and. Yeah, he robbed him of a two-run home run. Dang. He's mad at himself. Whoa, Durham, calm the heck down, dude. Harrison would try to tell you that to calm down, even though he was literally on deck, so he can't be in the deck out. I know, graphics don't make sense. And also, there's a reality. Jerry Harrison would not wear number four. When he played for the Rangers, his number was 15. That was his number. 15. Not four. 15. Hopefully, my guy could actually be a all complete all star. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, every time we are up in this level in 08, you they have you, they have you do certain goals and achievements to pass everything, and if you train up for them and you succeed through their stat line, you get a basic reward by being complimented and getting more opportunities. That's so. As of right now, I've been accomplishing my goals on a regular basis and sometimes they will fix them up for you so it'll make it easier for you and if you pass them you get more credibility so it's a fight for credibility and a fight for training to be training and that and that was the third out of the inning and Jerry so right now we're still winning but I failed to score because we didn't get into it Ramon Hernandez is up, so he's facing Kevin Millwood. Ramon Hernandez is a decent hitter, and I know that because I've I've seen some of his stats in the past. And there's a ground ball. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be that's gonna be a throw to there, and he's safe. 
right and now they got a tie run on third I hope he doesn't score from that and they don't but there's a runner on second and Melvin Moore is up the guy who made the error all right he has a bit of an, looking at from where he's at he uh, that's a ground ball uh oh come on better, better make a quick looks like I have to quick throw the play and he is safe and he's also safe maybe next I hit the cutoff man okay the game is tied Two to two. Rangers in Baltimore. And looks like I better get ready for knowing. All right. I know what's going on. And I don't like to, and I don't like where this is going. But I have to try. Hit and run. That's where you hit the gut ball. The guy runs at the same time. Oh. Ugh. They got me. On, they jammed me. Don't. Okay. They, they did not throw a strike. But I swung anyway. That is... All right, I don't care. Now, I'm 0 for 3 now. If the coach decides to bench me because I'm not doing my job, then I'm going to have to accept that. Because off recording, I tr I got mad the manager were doing that, and I got benched. Don't. The manager has a basic choice. Here's a reason. And they... The guys are not feeling the ball. Come on, guys. We got back up Millwood here. We're barely winning. 3 to 2. Melvin Moore again. He got... He got hit last time. So, see, he hit up the middle, too. So, he's not a power hitter really as of right now. Uh-oh. Ooh, better hurry. And, oh, my gosh, I just missed. I died, and he just got under my glove on that one. Well, I tried. Michael Young gives him a compliment on his fourth hit of the day. Hey, all right, 0 for 3, and there's a tie game. All right, they're giving me. All right, got a chance. I think the reason the manager hasn't been benching is because I actually got on base. If I didn't get on base, that's wholly different. Ninety-one mile an hour, ninety-one miles an hour, outside. So not a very fast pitcher, but decent. One and zero. Oh well, it goes past him, and that's going to be a runner to go into second. So now the go-ahead runs on second base. That looks like a curveball that just went away, and I check swing and it. Oh, it hit off the catcher. So they didn't say so that was not a hit by pitch. That because a hit by pitch would mean it hit the batter, and it did not. There's the two and zero, make it three and zero. This guy is definitely does not want my guy to get a hit. I would know. I've seen he's been watching. Whoa, good. That was a good cut, and that is going into the stands, but foul because it was left to the foul pole. Swung a little bit early on that one. Not not a good sign. Here's a 3 and 1. Grounded, and that's going to move the runner over to the third, and I'm out. Looks like I'm going to get. All right, don't. I won't be surprised if the manager decides to sit me out after that. Okay, and. Just watching. And we are in the bottom of the eighth. We did not score. Great. And there's a runner on first. Jay Payton. Jay Payton is a veteran. As in, he's been around in the big leagues for a very, very long time. In fact, I remember when he was in... He was playing for the Mets back in 2000. That, That's old. And, and he actually... In the, in the twilight of his career... That it, it was interesting. Or he won the game, but unfortunately, though, we I didn't do get a hit. Back to the clubhouse. I, probably for, I forgot to show this, so I'm going to go to Astolades, which I'm going to show you awards. And if you look at the rookie of the year, here, here am I. I am at number one. And the second guy in second place is the catcher of the awards, but he's batting 221. But he has a lot of RBIs. I, my high average is helping me a lot. So... As, so as of right now, I am in good hands. Let's get to the next game. Look at this. We, our win is helping us a lot, but we're three and a half games back, and we're exactly at 500. That's when you equal 53 wins and 53 losses. Well, equal wins, equal losses, and that's how you get to 500. The goal is to get above 500. And right now, we're three and a half games back from the Angels. Half games is, when, is if uh, you... Win a game 
or, or lose a game and the other guy, team that's behind you aren't, didn't play that game. All right, we're in the bottom of the first. Jay Gibbons is up, and there's runners on the corners. Got to be careful with him. He's probably going to... He's probably going to want to get a big big hit here. The pitch. up That's up in the air. That's up. And I was two out, so... I caught it. Another big put out, and we get out of the jam. And I'm leading off. With, so let's see what they want. Just reach base safely. The pitcher is Troy Patton. And I looked at my stats, and I am one base away from having 39 stolen bases. Here's the pitch. There's a live fly ball into the right field. That's going to be extra bases. Running for, And I'm running for two. And I'm going to stay there at second with a double. Well, no more slump for me. I get on base, which is what they wanted. Jerry Harrison Jr., who is in the minors, and my teammate, is up. The Rangers were having a hard time with second baseman and, infi and infielders. Ooh, he's trying to bunt. So if he if he bunts, I'm going to have to dart for it hard. 0-1. Come on, Harrison. All right, fouled off. So... Be, but I also have to be careful. If he hits it down third base, I have to get down quick because the third baseman might want to try and tag me out. It's happened before. There's a ground ball. That's a base hit. And they didn't get there. I'm running. And he's telling, he's telling me to stop. I'm going to keep going because it's going to be close. Safe. I scored the first run of the game. All right. The coach tried to tell me to stop. I ignored it. Went through the stop sign. Score the big run. Okay. So we now we got a hit. And a hit and a run. All right, got I got a double, scored a run, and I think Baltimore fans hate me. <laughs> All right, got one. We're ahead one nothing to pitch. All right, 92 outside though, so they, that was not something I should have hit. Swung at, and there's the pitch that's way upstairs. Yikes! You know there is a thing called a strike zone. You should probably throw it there sometime. Two balls, no strikes. There's the pitch. Oh my goodness. That was a wild pitch. So it's three balls, no strikes. This pitcher is out of control. The pitch grounded. And the second base didn't even dive. Now I got a chance to get 40 stolen bases. Now it's not leading the league because there's guys with more to me in this universe. But it's an accomplishment for me. I like hitting milestones. Oh, looks like I got that chance. See, coach is doing the signal. If he hits the if he hits his pant leg three times, which he just did right there, it's I got steal. So Jerry Harrison, who is up, I scored a run. Here, all right, come on, here we go. Can we do forty? It's gonna be close, and there it is, number forty. Number forty, my fortieth stolen base of the season. This, all right. I don't think they're they're not gonna show like a camera shot or that. Where it's like a big milestone because, because one of the older games. But when I go at the end of the game, I'll show you guys the milestone. I know I did that. I had 60 in double A, but having 40 in the majors, majors, that's awesome. That is awesome. That's foul, foul. He fouls off to the right. Jerry Harrison Jr. was a like a journeyman. He played for a lot of baseball teams, and he was a utility player. He could play any, just about anywhere in the outfield and part of the infield. And there's, and here we go again. I'm gonna be. He's waving me around, and I will score. And the Rangers add, an, and I get add another run to the board for the Rangers. Harrison gets his second RBI of the game, and I scored my second run of the game. So Harrison Jr. Pat yourself on the back. And now we are ahead 2 nothing with Luis Hernandez, a switch hitter, coming up. 0 for 1, 2 12, just above the Mendoza line, which I said before is when you bat, the Mendoza line is batting 200 average. That means a 200 average. Uh oh, that's that's not catchable. I got to see if I got to get off the wall, get ready to throw it quickly, and oh, ooh, he's not a fast runner. I was, oh, uh oh, dang it. That was a wild one. No sweat. We'll, we'll be fine. And Jay Payton is up with a runner on second. Brandon McCarthy is our pitcher, as I noticed. And he got a walk last time up. Looks like I better be, I better be careful, though. Jay Payton may be, a, may be an old vet at this time and near the twilight of his career. But he could probably hit pop, uh, pop in the 
Well, if he wants and that's an easy catch and that's the third out of the inning we will go to the next inning so there i get walking they look at the i see the left fielder giving me a pat on the back and brandon mccarthy is sighing in relief because he doesn't have to worry about any more big run opportunities all right there's try i got our chance two for two today a double stolen base which is number 40 and scored two runs now there's a runner in second with one out but Big chance for run scoring position. Whoa, watch out. Watch out. Whoa. That's going to bring in the runner to third. So now, now there's a runner at third. And that was, that's another wild pitch. I ain't good. If you're, the catcher needs to fix that better. Is a little bit. So there's one out. There is a, I think there's one out. So if I hit a sack fly, that could be nice for him. Uh oh, it's the right field. That's deep in the right field. Okay. I caught, but he's coming to the plate, and that's going to be another RBI as I as now three nothing. So I score two runs, and I bring in RBI. So I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. As long as I bring in a run for the guys, that's okay. We're winning three nothing, and we're not worried about like a big blowout. Oh, five nothing. So there's two outs, runner on second. Brandon McCarthy is still pitching. Jake Gibbons is is batting two fifty six home runs right now, but. If he gets a hit up the middle, so he could score the run. So I got, but he's also got some pop in his bat. So I gotta watch it. Uh oh, that's deep, deep. It's gonna be close. Oh my! What? I should have died. Well, there goes the shutout, and that's gonna. And now Jay Gibbs gets an RBI double. Well, there goes. I don't think McCarthy's gonna be happy with me that I didn't catch his that. Okay. And now it's five to two because they've got our run. And there's. And I'm still, and I'm up now with two outs and a runner on first. So, there's the pitch. Fly ball, left center field. That will be a base hit. Runner running for third. And they will throw the third and it will not be in time. And I get on the second. That's, call, that's what you call heart and hustle. That's my third hit of the game. And moving the runner over. Now we got a chance to get more opportunities. And Jerry Harrison Jr., a guy who has come through for us, is up. We'll see if he get a big hit. That's low. Low and inside. This, this, some nine pitchers are not good at pitching. Like, they throw, like, decent. Like, they might throw a lot of strikes. But then there are times they just throw, like, wild. Like, it doesn't throw into the zone. That makes it very frustrating for their team because next thing you know if he throws a strike hitters might take advantage of it and just crack one right over their heads and that's not something that you want to ever want to do as a team is give up big hits and right now this guy has thrown no strikes to jerry Harris. that's three balls four balls to walk three strikes is a strikeout so, and yep that's a that's basically an intentional walk because he just threw four balls outside the zone. But now the bases are loaded. If I were the manager, I'd, see, I'd check on him or get him out of the game. And then, hey, he read my mind. There's a new pitcher. And I don't have co no confidence for him. An earn run average up seven. But the, our guy is over two. Maybe he might be able to take advantage of this new pitcher and get a hit up the middle. There's a line drives a base hit. It's going to be at least, there's going to be two runs. Uh, it's going to be close. Nope. I get there before to throw a base to the catcher. So once again, our guys go through. We get two more runs on the board, and I score my third run of the game. Nice. And now we're ahead 7-2, but there's a runner on third with two outs. Looks like this might be Brandon McCarthy's last inning. And there's Brian Roberts. He is one. He is one, it was one of the fastest guys on the team for Baltimore when he played. All right, that's a pop, and that's going to be an easy third out into my glove. So the Orioles strand a man at third, and we are going to – it might get an opportunity. And there me running, and there's Milton Bradley, my teammate, happy with me that I was able to catch that. And McCarthy just walks off like, yep, skip blue. And that, I think they're probably just going to give me one more hitting opportunity. Yep, it's three for three right now, top of the ninth. Jesse Crane is still pitching. And – Good game for me, three for three, and not. And now there is the first pitch to me. It looks like a perfect strike, line drive, right field, base hit. Another base hit for me, my fourth hit of the game. 
a huge hit for me right there. After I didn't get a hit, an official hit last time, and you know, gone base dude in error, I got on. And there's Ryan Berkvik. He's the he's pitched only 13 games this season, so I assume he probably was in the minors to start the season. Oh, oh shoot! Don't you dare try to pick me off, dude. All right, watching, watching, watching. Oh boy! All right, he's. I'm gonna go for number 41 if I can get there. Hernandez throw, not in time. Stolen base number 41 for me. I don't usually catch up all the time on my stats, but when I know I'm close, I usually let you all know. So that's something to point out. Okay, let's see if Jerry can bring me in. Bring me in, Jerry. Up oh, there he goes. There's a wild throw. I'm going to third. So that. And now there's a runner on third. That's me. And that. All right. So that. So that's not something. That's not hopeful at all. Can I move the camera? Nope. I can't see. Just come on, Jerry. So there's two balls out of the zone. I'm not. I, if I were the manager, I'd make sure my pitches are okay. And worry about job security. And. That's a foul ball to the right. It used to be Cayman Yards. Now it's called Oreo Park in this game. If you guys are Baltimore fans, uh, that, let me know. And I'll, here's a little fact for you guys. They used to be a minor league team. And when Babe Ruth started playing professional baseball, he actually was in a minor league team called the Baltimore Oreos. And this was way before they became a major league team. They would become a Major League Baseball team in 1953 when they moved, were originally the St. Louis Browns, which were then a rival to the St. Louis Cardinals, and uh, Jerry Harrison gets walked. We're getting patient. And it looks like he's uh, not happy with himself there. Maybe the manager might call him, get him, or nope. Gerald Laird's up. He had a single earlier in the game. Uh, oh, nope, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> It's like, I feel like this, uh, feel like, uh, Pina from Jeff Dunham. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, this guy's paranoid. He tried to pick me off, then he tried to pick up the guy at, this guy at first, Harris. I think, and it, and this might shock you here, but I think I know Jerry Harris might have gotten down never because Gerald Laird actually never was with the Rangers in real life after the 2008 season, I think. Because I know that he was a veteran catcher with the Rangers, but he ended up, I think, either left a free agency or he got, and he got signed with a different team. I do I remember that Gerald Laird was feisty, and then he was, he had a bit of a temper. He had a temper to where he, he was basically a very hothead and would defend. Like when it comes to like, uh, for example, say a, a guy. Get a batter gets mad at a pitcher, he will run at him like charge. That's called charging the mound. Laird did not do a good job of doing it, and the guy just literally tried to pick off Harrison. Come on, man. And when that happened in 2008, Casey Gabbard was the pitcher for the Rangers, and he hit Richie Sexton. Well, actually, he almost hit him. And Sexton got mad. I think it was also because the Mariners were losing. He charged the mound, and as a result, um, he. Gabber got hurt, and Lair could have stopped it, but he didn't. And now there's a throw, and that is the that's an out, but Lair brings in a run. So now we now it's a, another run to the board, and I score another run for my team. That's probably gonna be that's an out. He pat my guy in the head, and Brandon McCarthy eight innings only give up nine hits. All right, clubhouse we go. Okay, so they didn't recognize a milestone for 40 stolen bases, but I probably would recognize if I had 50. And let's look at here, guys. So Kinsler was going to be out for two more weeks with a fractured hand. And uh, look, this is what's everything going on over here. So the Rangers have sent up, called up and sent down a lot of guys. And I'm still starting center fielder. So looking, things are looking up for me. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop here. If you guys enjoyed, like, share, and subscribe. Check out the playlist. And also be sure to hit that bell so you don't miss out. Got to sign out. God bless you, Rod. Don't forget it.